Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play the theme from the Titanic, My Heart Will Go On. My Heart Will Go On. Uh, this was the tune uh, recorded by Celine Dion, written by James Horner for the film Titanic and released as a single in 1997. Uh, both James Cameron, the producer, and Celine Dion um, hated the idea of this song <laughs> and uh, only uh, added it very reluctantly. Um, but of course it was a, a massive hit. Um, I think it's, it's Celine Dion's most popular song. Probably a lot of Irish traditional musicians will absolutely hate this tune. Um, mostly, I think, because it's been so, so successful, just in the same way that old time uh, fiddlers hate Wagon Wheel. <laughs> uh, one of my most po popular videos, incidentally. Um, but even uh, traditional fiddlers sometimes have to sell their souls. And if you happen to live in Belfast, and uh, you have a job playing in the Titanic Museum, or you're a busker sitting outside the Titanic Museum, no better tune for you to play. And uh, also if you are um, doing a, a, a background music gig, let's say at a wedding reception or something like that, where no one is really listening, where everyone considers what you do to be diddly eye music, where they all sound the same, then something that they actually recognise will go down very well. And this, of course, is something everyone will recognise. So, it's a tune worth knowing even if you mostly play your jigs and your reels. I'm going to give you two versions, one in a lower and one in an upper octave. Um, and we're going to do the key of D. Okay, I'll do once round the tune in the lower octave. Um, and I'll put, I'll put the ornaments in as we're going along. One, two, three... <laughs> are a mixture of hammer-ons such as the first one and the hammer-on is where you uh, play a lower note and then hammer on the note that you're actually the, the melody note and then we've got a double cut which is uh, two notes two grace notes played before a melody note and uh, usually you will slur into uh, from the grace note into the melody note. Uh, there's a double cut uh, placed between two notes. Sometimes you'll do the um, the grace note at the end of the previous note, like that. I'm not I'm not quite sure why you'll sometimes slur a long note into the grace note and sometimes you'll do the grace note into the next note. If anyone can explain why that might be, I'd be very happy to hear. Um, 
And of course you can put these grace notes wherever you like. There's lots of different places you can use them. You don't have to do them all the time. But if you don't do any, then it's not going to sound very Irish. Uh, let's do the same again in the upper octave. One, two, three. Incidentally, I, um, I once did a recording session for James Galway, the Irish flautist, uh, who's a kind of a, a crossover classical uh, traditional player. I'm not sure if he's still going, but um, way back in the 80s he did a recording of this and I played on the fiddle intro, <laughs> which is probably available to hear somewhere. I've, I've not heard it since I did it. but. Um, Yes, so let's finish off with the, the same thing again, but with the backing. If you'd like a copy of the sheet music, then do subscribe and send me an email. And if you would like to help support my uh, video production, then do please consider joining me on Patreon. And there are lots of benefits there, including, uh, for everyone who joins me there, a zip file with all of my PDFs uh, from all of the videos that I've done in the last uh, two and a half years. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon and I'll play you out with My Heart Will Go On.